Howdy, dude. Well, we're going to work on the rain barrel today. As you can see, I've got it draining right now. Uh, hate to waste a bunch of good water, but um, had a storm come through and blew a bunch of leaves and stuff in, in the barrels. So, uh, while I'm fixing this broken valve, the handle got broke last year and it's been leaking ever since. I'm um, going to replace that. And I thought, while I'm doing it, I'm going to go ahead and clean these barrels out because I'm also going to uh, put some new screen over the top of them, kind of like I had on that old one there. Uh, help keep the leave and, and other debris and bugs and stuff out. That and these have become mosquito cesspools um, here in the last uh, couple of weeks. So I also picked up some of these um, mosquito dunks. They're supposed to be uh, safe for rain barrel use, so we'll hope. I don't really like using using chemicals and stuff around this, or you know, for my garden and whatnot. But but uh, got to do something here because I tried the uh, copper pipe myth, as you can see. That was a total joke. That doesn't work at all. So we'll. Uh, let this go ahead and drain down. I'll get that valve replaced. And uh, I'm also going to uh, take the garden hose and flush these out and clean them up a bit more. I had them cleaned out once this year already, but but uh, we'll do it again. And then we'll put that screen on them and get things good to go. Because it's supposed to maybe rain tomorrow. So, so alright, I will let this go ahead and drain out. And then... Uh, I'll start the video up when I get ready to start working here. Alright, I think we're pretty close here. I'm going to just try to tip them over and dump them out so we can kind of get the ball rolling here. <laughs> Alright, now we'll go ahead and get this flushed out here and then we'll get that valve changed. As many of you know, I used to have this third barrel hooked up. <laughs> But when I built the deck, I, uh, it occupied the space where the barrel was at. I'm eventually going to change these over to IBC totes, but I just haven't uh, had the extra money to do that yet. Okay. Let's see if we can get you repositioned here so you can see me working on the valve. Alright, so... And I'm actually uh, increasing the outlet from, uh, I think I had a half inch before, I'm increasing it to, uh, to three quarter. Not that we really had much of a flow issue, just uh, more of a convenience thing, I guess. So, I'm, what I've got here is a... Uh, a threaded, um, I don't know if that'll focus on that or not, um, threaded to barb fitting. That's three-quartered barb to uh, three-quarter uh, FHP or FTP or something like that thread. Go. 
close enough. Then just got a piece of uh, three-quarter vinyl hose. It's at the end of the roll, of course, so now it's all kind of wonky. <laughs> I'm uh, not going to put a hose clamp on it today just in case this the sun doesn't warm it up enough to straighten it out on its own. Um, if not, I'll pull it back off and take a heat gun. And I'll slide this over a, uh, a pipe or something. Maybe one of those copper pipes that I had inside the barrels and heat it up so it, go, it straightens out a little bit. But for the meantime, I'm just going to stick it on there. Call it good enough. And uh, we have uh, got our valve replaced now. So now, one of these days, I want to put in a first flush or uh, I think that's what they call them. Uh, basically, it's just going to be a PVC pipe here to catch um, the first debris coming off of the out of the gutters and off the roof uh, before it starts dumping the water into the barrel. But I'm not sure if I'll do that now or when I switch over to the IBC totes. <laughs> my bricks so we'll get those slid back into place. Okay, everything else looks good. I'll move you back over here. Off of the satellite that we don't use. <laughs> All this is is just a pet resistant screen that I'm using. Let me flip this around so I can see if you're seeing what I'm seeing here. There we go. All this is is there you are. It's a pet resistant screen. I just put it over the top with some zip ties uh, to help keep the debris out. I also have cats that like to get up on top of stuff, so I, uh, I pick a little bit of a heavier duty screen that's strong enough to hold their weight. Before we get this put on, we'll need to throw in our mosquito cakes. And then ready to go. Four inch heavy 2D zip ties that I get at Harbor Freight. They're the cheapest place I can find zip ties and they work just fine. As you probably noticed, these barrels unfortunately were had the tops cut out of them instead of removed or, or left with the bung holes. Um, so unfortunately, there's no lid option on these barrels. These were just uh, some old barrels that I found. Uh, well, it's been a few years ago, and it was. They were. Uh, I don't remember if they were free or they were just very cheap, so I grabbed them. Something to get started with, anyway.
afraid of our cats without them falling through. And I'll come back and I'll trim these off. one long so I can always tighten it up as it loosens up in the sun or whatever. It doesn't happen very often but uh, every once in a while you need to tighten them up a little bit. So there we have it. I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there. Uh, nope. <laughs> there you can see that one I guess a little bit that uh, got the mosquito cakes down in there and uh, what I tie my flexible downspout with is actually just the, uh, the rubber uh, cord that goes around the window screen. It's stretchy and it works quite well and then I just hook it on one of the tabs there and that keeps it from flopping around. And uh, as the debris comes down, it'll either just stay on here or it'll just get washed off the top. Uh, and it works quite well, actually. So there we have it. We've got our new valve and hose, our covers. And I leave these long just because I can. They're behind the house. We're on the dead end road, so it's not like anybody sees this stuff. Uh, you know, for your personal use or whatever, you're more than welcome to trim it. You'd still have to leave it, you know, a couple inches or so below your strap. Otherwise, this will tend to pull out. Um, so you need a little bit of extra, kind of like this here. That's, uh, oh, yeah, two, two and a half inches there. And uh, you want at least that much so it doesn't pull out. But other than that, there you have her. And uh, if I ever get the chance, I don't know if it'll happen this year with the new baby. Um, money's been pretty tight with him. Uh, if I can get an IBC tote to replace these and redesign this system, I'll definitely be filming that. And we'll post that. But I don't know if it'll happen this year or, or at this location. We're trying to move as well. So we're, uh, we're looking anyway. It's everything we've found so far has been way out of our budget so probably not going to happen either but we're trying <laughs> so anyway till next time i will uh, catch you later and feel free to ask questions leave feedback anything like that all right thanks for watching